Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, if you're new. And today we're basically doing like a glow up type Valentine's Day get ready with me. So Valentine's is actually a few days from now. It's like three days from now, but my husband and I have to get a babysitter that doesn't work on that day. We decided to ask my mother-in-law for Valentine's Day, even though it's not on the actual day, but she's gonna watch him for about like four to five hours while we go out and have dinner and we're gonna probably get like dessert or we're gonna walk around or something. We just hardly get out. So this is gonna be a fun time where it can just be me and my husband alone. So today I'm just gonna be doing my hair, obviously getting my makeup done. And then I'm gonna be putting on a cute dress that I bought. Like I bought pretty much a whole outfit. I did my nails already. I had found these on Amazon and they're just whitening strips and I did them already and they already work so good. They're non-toxic whitening strips and they don't hurt at all. And I'll definitely link these below. Right now I'm gonna go in with my heat protectant spray. This is from Monique. Last night I used the dry shampoo. It's all non-toxic as well. This towel right here is just bothering me so I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, now that I've sprayed this, I wish I had like a bigger barrel, but this is the only one that I have. This is the Pro Beauty Tools. I've seen so many videos like on TikTok where the girls take like that first section right here and they curl it forward and then they like put that big thing in the front, but I'm definitely still gonna try to attempt to curl my hair and then pin it. The reason why I'm doing my hair first is because we're not leaving for like a little while and I just felt like my hair is probably gonna take a long time. So I decided to just wait on my makeup. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out by the way, but I'm just kind of going with it. And just so you know, like my hair is super long, so obviously I should have, I should use, you know, like a bigger barrel, but this is all I have right now. It's a realistic get ready with me, okay? <laughs> and I really truly hate the lighting in this bathroom. Like I look like a freaking ghost. It's awful. You would never know that I have my license to do hair, would you? I do have a couple bobby pins and I'm just gonna bobby pin these and I, I really don't think this is gonna turn out, but I'm trying it anyway. You guys, this is seriously not working out. The goal is to get some oomph on the top of my hair, like at the root. I ordered a Stanley mug. I'm waiting for it to come in the package to be delivered from Amazon. I'm very excited. It's just a white to go coffee mug. It's gonna be awesome because sometimes like when I go drive pacing around or whatever, like I'm tempted to go to Starbucks and I don't need to do that because I have an espresso machine. Honestly, I think my hair just is due for a wash. Like I think dry shampoo is good for like maybe three days after you wash it, but after that it's kind of like you're kind of screwed, you know? <laughs> but you guys are finding this probably very comical. And I don't mind, like you can straight up laugh because I'm laughing. This is like old school style, except I don't have any like, I look like Princess Leia. <laughs> I don't have any uh, rollers and I wish that I did, but I don't right now, so. I hope you guys are finding this very entertaining because I think it is. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight. So what we're doing tonight, we are going to a really nice restaurant in Salt Lake City. It's about, an hour from us, but we have to go into Eagle Mountain first because we have to drop off our son. The reason why I chose Salt Lake is because they have a lot of um, restaurants. They have a lot of nice restaurants and I'm a big foodie person. Like I love trying new places to eat and just experiencing the, like, the vibes, you know, around you. And I don't even know when the last time I had a glass of wine, it was probably like last year sometime. So I wanna have a glass of wine and just enjoy being childless for a night and or a few hours at least. You know how like when you're alone with your person, you can finally like talk about stuff. Like if you're a mom, you'll get what I'm saying. But sometimes life is just so serious with like the chaos of having kids and just like all that. And we only have one kid, but I just think sometimes it can be overwhelming because you don't have time for that person all the time and it's nice when you can get a break. I think what I'll do on the bottom, because I, I do need to kind of flat iron this a little bit. See how it's all crinkled under here? I don't even know if you guys can see that because the lighting is so bad, but it's definitely like sleep crinkled. I haven't straightened or done anything to my hair since the first day I washed it and that was like probably like three or four days ago. And I already put heat protectant on my hair because I feel like that's huge, that's super important. So for down here, I think I'm just gonna curl it like this and leave it down. I'm not gonna brush it out or spray it or do anything like that until I'm totally done because I want it to set and like let my hair cool and all that. I'm probably gonna wait like a little while to do my makeup at least and then I'll just get my hair all fixed up after my makeup. I'm not sure yet. You guys are on this journey with me so we'll have to figure it out together. And I definitely don't expect my hair to look top notch. I mean, look at it already, okay. 
It's just wow. And I seriously look like death. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool and we'll get to my makeup soon. I have like the world's smallest ring light right here. You just can't see it. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna go in. Oh, actually, so I got this. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit just because my son is asleep in the other room. I got this today at Target. It's the Neutrogena Concealer. It's in the ivory light and I feel like it's gonna be way too light for my skin. But they just had like either really light or really like dark and I was like I'd rather go light and make my under eyes look like super bright than then it be too like dark you know I'm just gonna put this on my t-zone areas I'm just I don't have a mirror in front of me which I probably should get a mirror <laughs> so that makes sense I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender brighten up this under eye area and I truly do think that that is like the most watery concealer so I don't recommend this concealer. Like it doesn't look horrible, but it's just definitely like, I don't know, it just seems too light for my skin. Anyways, we're gonna go in with my foundation and I use the Tarte Double Duty Beauty <laughs> and it's the face tape. I always use my Echo Tools Beauty Blender. I'm not a makeup pro, just so y'all know, but I do enjoy getting a good coverage. That is what we're working with right now. And I've been using this foundation for quite some time, like a few years now. Just because it works well for my skin tone and I just feel like it, it, like I said earlier, it just covers really well and it blends really good. When you reach your late 30s, you just kind of feel like concealer gives you more wrinkles because it gets in all like the nooks and crannies of your face and sometimes you just feel like it's just too much wrinkle mm -hmm. highlights if that makes sense so i always go down my neck because i want everything to look nice and blended next i'm using the clinique powder and this is just like a setting powder and it's the number two stay neutral and it's just a press powder but I go in with my brush that I think I got from Ulta or Sephora. I got this one actually at Disneyland. It's Love Beauty Fully and it's from the brand It. So, oh yeah, it is Ulta, Never mind. Now I'm gonna go in with my, um, my shadow and basically just, I do this every time. Like I always do the corner and the reason why I use my finger is because I only have one shadow brush and I usually use it for like the darker colors and I can't use it for the corners because it'll make it all like brown and so I'm gonna go in with this naked reloaded I I'm gonna use the burn and the reputation I don't know if you guys can see it but it's basically just like you know pinks and reds because and then I might go in with like some brown like on the corner area but I want to get like a good like burn color like fire because I want to look fire for my husband I just want to look good and I want it to match my my outfit and stuff tonight. I feel like eyeshadow is just the best because it just brings everything out because it's going to be like an evening. But anyway, I'm going to go in with the end game, which is right next to those. And I'm just going to like love on this corner right here. I'm just going to go there and kind of go in the crease a little bit. This is not like a crease brush by any means. So I like it kind of is. So I'm gonna go back into with this highlighter. This is from Amazon, by the way, it's called Brow Fix and it's just like a cheap little eyebrow pencil thing, but I use it for eyeshadow sometimes. Next, I'm gonna do my brows cause I feel like they need some love. And this is actually the Anastasia Brow Definer. I've never used this color before. I'm a little worried that it's gonna be like too dark, but let's see. I usually like will outline my brows and then go in and like, you know, fill them in. I saw this video where this girl, like she, she did that, right? And then she just went like this and like kind of just like blended it in. But I don't know if it's gonna be dark enough. I like a really like strong brow. I like it to like stand out, but this is like a little too dark for my taste. Like I said, I've, I've never actually used this color before. I've always used like the light, the light brown brow pencil and it always seemed to be fine, but I wanted like a darker brow, but this looks actually kind of cool. But brushing it in like that makes it look really natural. I actually really like that and I never understood. And this is gonna save me so much money because I was going in and like filling it in like crazy and making it like perfect. 
when now I can just kind of brush it in and make it good that way. Now, the trick is to get the other eyebrow the same way. <laughs> okay, sorry that my camera is like over here and my mirror is over here. I'm just really trying to like do it all. I'm actually really liking this, like the whole combing it, combing it through even though I feel like it takes away, like it takes off some of the product, but it still like does the trick and I like that. Okay, I think we're good. Now you guys are gonna think that I'm nuts, but I don't own a brow gel that like sets it, but I do have this Urban Decay makeup setting spray, so I'm gonna use that afterwards. And now I'm gonna go in and do my eyeliner. I got this at Target, and it's the first time I've ever used this, and it's by L'Oreal, and it's called the Flash Cat Eye. And it comes with this, but I'm just gonna, I, like, I'm gonna wing it, literally, <laughs> and just do it myself. I just have very small eyes. So I have to be like super careful with this and I know you're not supposed to pull in your eye, but who's gonna stop me, you know? Okay, so far I really like the way this is looking. What's not great is when it goes into your eye and it starts to sting really bad. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, this is looking good. I'm into it. I'm really into it. I have these lashes that I'm gonna put on and they're super extra, but I'm excited to look like a drag queen tonight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put on this demolition. This is, this is the Urban Decay, it's upside down, but it's called Demolition. And I always put eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes because my eyes are so small that I need the help. Okay, I just feel like I have to go in and kind of like match that line up right there because it was not matching up there. Now I want my contouring to be pretty dark tonight. I don't want it to look super fake or anything. Like I kind of want to look like I have a tan, if you guys know what I mean. And I could get crazy and do a lot more, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm also going to put this again on the center and just see what comes of it. Then I'm going to go in with the same one that I used on my, cause I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to return this or I'm just not going to use it anymore. And I'm going to end up just using this for my contouring from now on. And I was told to go up with it in videos that I've watched so that way it kind of like lifts your face instead of like making your face look kind of droopy okay so contouring is done you can't really tell honestly this stuff kind of sucks like my makeup is like ho-hum I don't know how to describe it but it's not that great so I'm gonna go in with I don't even know what brand this is baked bronzer sun and fun I got this at Ulta sugar rush that's what the brand is I'm pretty sure <laughs> But I'm gonna go in with this and really like just get crazy with the blush because I, I want to look fake as possible. <laughs> just kidding. So I really just kind of do that. Do a little bit of highlighting first. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and touch this part up. And then we're gonna go back over here on the highlight of the lip. We're gonna go right here and we're gonna go up the nose here so we can brighten up that spot that we that we put on earlier. And then I'm gonna put a little bit up here on my upper cheek and a little bit right here. And no, this is not the best highlighter, so I don't recommend this one, but it's something. There's different shadows and stuff. Like for instance, this one, I could try that one, I guess. But my skin is so like dark right now, you can't really even tell. So it's kind of like why. Okay, now I think I'm gonna set my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay all right, so this, these are magnetic. So I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick. I really think that these are supposed to come with an eyeliner or something, but they don't have any eyeliner. You have to have a magnetic eyeliner, and I don't have that. This is the most tragic day. <laughs> I'm gonna go look in the trash again and see if I put something in there that I shouldn't have. Maybe there's like glue or something in there, but I highly doubt it. I don't think there was anything, but I'll look. It says compatible with magnet, magnet liner. So that's not gonna happen. I'll save these for another day. I'm gonna go in with my crappy mascara and put it on. This is the L'Oreal Lash Idol. I had never used this until like a few days ago and I'm just not the biggest fan, but, and I'm gonna be like having to go through, I don't even have, a, I don't own eyelash curler. So that's why I was kind of counting on, <laughs> what girl doesn't own an eyelash curler? That's why I relied on the lashes because I don't really have lashes. Okay, we don't want to overdo it, okay? We don't want to look like clumpy mascara girl. Okay, now I'm gonna go in 
and do the bottom lashes really fast. All right, I just needed to add a little bit of liner down there to make it like line up because it was just kind of weird, but this color doesn't really match, but we're working with it. This is a liner by Urban Decay and it's called Liar and it's seriously one of my favorite liners. Like I think it's a little dark, but it works. Okay, I've never used this lipstick before and I'm really nervous because it's really red. It's funny because my liner like does not match my lipstick whatsoever. I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna add like a little tiny bit of more blush because it just feels very like not matchy match right now. And I want it to look very Valentine's-ish. And I, I know I just set my makeup, but gotta be a little bit of a rebel sometimes. I think we're done with the makeup. What do you guys think? You like it? Like it's not much different from what I normally do. That's why I wanted those lashes. All right, it is time to do my hair. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. <laughs> just this curl right here, not working for me. I curled it toward my face and that was a mistake because I, and I've seen girls do that, but like, why did I do that? I should have curled it the other way so it goes the other way. I always usually end up tucking this side, so I'm gonna keep it like that. But I'm gonna go in and like flat iron this part right here when I should have already done that because it gets really like crinkly right there. I don't want it to be too hot right there, so it's still warming up. So I'm just gonna do it when it's not as hot. I'm actually like more nervous to put on my dress now. I'm just gonna curl it this way, you guys. I know that I did it the other way, but my hair's gonna be confused, but we're working with it. <laughs> okay, this is looking better because I curled it this way. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of dry texture spray and a little bit of hairspray and then put some oil in it to set it and it should be good. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna back comb from like here back. Even though I already hairsprayed my hair, I'm doing everything backwards. Okay, cool. So we're done with makeup and hair. Now I'm gonna go get dressed. All right, you guys, this is my dress. This is the look. <laughs> it's pretty short. <laughs> it's not like crazy short, I've seen worse. But these are the shoes that I decided to wear. They're like, just like heels. Thank God I've been doing some workouts because I would hate myself in this if I didn't. So that is, that is the ultimate look and I'm liking the dress, I really am. I'm gonna go put on the jacket and see what I think. All right, you guys, I added some gold hoops and a little gold bracelet. There's California on it somewhere. It's just really cute. But this is the finished look and I feel, I feel good. It's nice, I just need a tan, like really bad. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I'll definitely take you guys along tonight just for a little bit, just so you can kind of see our date. But yeah, I wanna show like the food we get and show the restaurant and stuff. So definitely stick around for the end of the video. done eating <laughs> and we're probably gonna go like get coffee and dessert but I wanted to quickly tell you guys that food was so good the wine was amazing I had wine from Italy and just for one cup it was like 22 bucks okay <laughs> I'm just saying because the most fancy restaurants I feel like are so good like their quality like the steak was buttery and just so good I don't know how to describe it but the mac and cheese was so good what did you think of your burger? It was pretty good. I still liked your steak though, but. Yeah, he was eating a lot of my steak, which is totally fine because it was the bomb. And it was, there was quite a bit of it, so I couldn't eat it all. <clears throat> but wow, holy cow, if you guys are over in Salt Lake, definitely recommend that place. <laughs> but I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys like this video, if you want me to do more of these, give it a thumbs up and please comment below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.